Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial by Smart Bucats in Properties of Material. Uh, today we are going to look at ductility, but before then, kindly subscribe to this channel if this is your first time coming here or you haven't subscribed earlier. And after subscribing, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever we upload any of our content. Today, the solution is going to be on ductility whereby we are given this cylindrical metal specimen having an original diameter of 12.8 millimeters. So the original diameter is 12.8 millimeter. And the gauge length, that's the original length of that specimen is also 50.8 millimeter. Then this material is pulled in tension until it fractured, that's it breaks. The diameter at the point of fracture reduced, that's the final diameter becomes 8.13 millimeters and uh, the fracture gauge length that the final length at the point of fracture it becomes 74.17 millimeter after the elongation we are told to determine the ductility in terms of percentage reduction in area and in terms of percentage elongation these are the two formulas we do use to determine the ductility of a material. Okay, the question told us to first determine the ductility in terms of percentage reduction area, which is percentage reduction in area is equal to the original area of the material minus the final area at the point of fracture over the original area times 100. So, we know that for the cylinder, the area is equal to pi d square over 4. So therefore, the original area is equal to the pi times d, the original diameter, over 4, which will give me pi into original diameter is 12.8 millimeter squared over 4, which will give me, if you press it well in your calculator, 128 0.68 millimeter squared also for the final area that's the area at the point of fracture it's going to be pi d final diameter over 4 which will be pi into the diameter is 8.13 squared over 4 calculating this correctly in the calculator will give you 51.91 millimeter squared also so now the ductility which is to say the ductility and percentage reduction area is equal to the original area which i just calculated with 128.68 minus the final area at the point of fracture 51.91 over the original area which is 128.68 which gives me 59.66 percentage or you can approximately say 60 percent this is the ductility in terms of percentage reduction area then the second one which says in terms of percentage elongation the formula is nothing but uh, the final length at the point of fracture minus the original length over the original length times 100 also, I'm given the final length from the question as 71.17 at the point of fracture and the original length is given to be 50.8 all in millimeters. So simply percentage elongation, the ductility in percentage elongation is going to be 74.17 minus 50.8 all over 50.8 multiplied by 100 which when you press well in your calculator you will see that the ductility is going to be 46 percentage this is the ductility in percentage reduction area hope you enjoy the video kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so so that you'll be notified after pressing the bell icon whenever we upload our next video see you in the next video bye